Hello and welcome to this episode of Applications TV. I'm Peter Vaughan, one of the Applications Engineers here at Power Integrations. So today I thought I'd show you a quick trick uh, on how to measure the inductance of the transformer without requiring a, an LCR meter. This is great if you're concerned that the inductance value is provided incorrectly from the, the uh, transformer supplier or if you just don't have an LCR meter available to you. So, let's get started. What I have here is a flyback power supply. This happens to be the EP91. And what I've already got connected is a couple of probes. I have a current probe monitoring the drain current, and I have a times 100 probe that's monitoring the value of the DC bus, so basically the voltage across the input capacitor. Okay, so let's now use the oscilloscope to take some measurements from which we can make these calculations. At the top here we have the DC bus voltage and below we have the drain current waveform which is also the current through the primary of the transformer. So as the slope here is proportional to or equal to V over L, if we know the input voltage and we know how long it took for this current to reach a given value, then we can calculate what the actual uh, inductance value is. So let's go ahead and take some measurements. So what I need to do first is measure the value of this voltage. So I'm going to stop the oscilloscope and turn on some cursors. We'll call this 320 volts. So I'll make a note of that. VDC equals 320 volts. So the next thing to do is we need to measure the current waveform. So now I'm going to change the cursors to that channel and we need horizontal and vertical cursors. And let me just do some adjustments. I need to measure the peak current here. And I need to move the lower cursor also. So what this is telling me is in this time period, which is 1.85 microseconds, the current ramped from 60 milliamps to 564 milliamps, meaning the difference in the current between these two time points was 504 milliamps. So let me make a note of that as well. Delta T is equal to 1.85 microseconds and our delta I was 504 milliamps. Now using V equals L di by dt, and if we rearrange that, we end up with L equals V dt by di, and we've measured the voltage, it was 320 volts. Our dt was 1.85 microseconds and our DI was 504 milliamps. And if I quickly calculate that, we end up with a value of 1.17 millihenries. A little earlier I took this transformer out of this board and measured it on our impedance analyzer and it measured a value of 1.099 millihenries. So as you can see, this is a very accurate method of uh, measuring the primary inductance. So that concludes this episode. Thank you very much for watching. And if you have any suggestions for things you'd like us to cover, then please send an email to the address shown on the website. And please check the website for uh, other episodes. See you next time.